Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world, and welcome to the Yellow Gem, How Does It Work? So in order to find the Yellow Gem at uh, in Crisis City Section 2, right after the first checkpoint, um, you basically just progress through the stage kind of as normal, doing the light dash, grinding on the rails, heading all the way over to the part where the springs launch you into the big building section where you collect a bunch of rings. But instead of taking the springs, you jump down behind the wall that they're attached to, and there's a little ledge, and on that ledge is the yellow gem. So, what the yellow gem does is it grants Sonic instant access to the lightning shield. Now, unlike Sonic the Hedgehog 3 and Knuckles or Sonic Mania, the lightning shield does not grant you access to a double jump. I personally like this because it would be redundant with the purple gem, since the purple gem grants you a double jump anyway. So all this gem does is it grants you protection uh, and th at the cost of the action gauge meter, as well as you draw in rings, just like how the lightning shield. So basically how it works in Sonic Adventure 1 and Sonic Adventure 2. And I believe the lightning shield was in Sonic Heroes. I know it's in, I think it's even in Shadow the Hedgehog too. Um, but yeah, it also protects you from enemy attacks. So if we just try to run into this dude here, it uh, exchanges extra meter because you, you know, are just purposely running yourself into enemies, but you don't even like take damage or take knockback. So you can literally just like run right through enemies, which is really, really cool. Now I am going to be using a, uh, a debug mod to uh, level up the gem here just for demonstration purposes. Normally you have to defeat enemies in order to level up the gem but at level two all it does is it increases the efficiency so as you can see as the gem is active the drain is a lot slower and i'm not entirely sure but i believe it also increases the resistance against enemies so you can take more hits by just like running into these guys than you could at level one at level three this just enhances the decrease so as you can see it's decreasing really slowly now and when we bash our head into enemies we can take way 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 more hits this is an extremely useful gem for S-ranking the stages if you're not very good and get hit a lot, you know, for like rings and stuff or just kind of dying. Obviously, this protects you against that, so it's super useful for that, as well as drawing in rings, of course. So if you're trying to get like max ring bonus or something like that, it's uh, it's pretty darn useful. It's one of my favorite gems. I love the graphic, and even in future, re uh, future releases, Chaos X said he's going to be making the graphic look even better, so I'm super excited about that. I hope you guys are too. So that's how the yellow gem works. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next one as uh, Sonic floats above the, uh, the terrain here. Kind of funny. To the yellow gem, how does it work? So in order to find the yellow gem, this isn't terrible, Sonic. 